Okay, I'm in my uh, MacBook Pro right now, and uh, once we turn on the uh, video camera in the Teradek Cube, we're going to open up the uh, Wi-Fi, and we're obviously going to connect to the Teranet um, access point. Once we're connected, uh, we're going to go ahead and open Wirecast, and uh, we're going to start a shot. Uh, our new video uh, feed uh, using the uh, Teradek Cube right here. Now it does put it in the demo mode because I don't have Wirecast Pro. I just have the studio version so you're going to see the uh, Wirecast logo come up. Um, as you can see it's working quite well. I didn't have to do any settings or anything uh, so the video imported without uh, any trouble at all. Uh, Teradek plugin for Wirecast available for Mac and Windows uh, that also allows gives you more functionality I guess um, so uh, this is actually from Teradek's website where you can download the uh, uh, the plugin itself uh, for the variety of their products including the cube and the Sputnik server and, and, and so on and obviously you just choose whatever um, operating system you use. Now uh, I've got Wirecast uh, open right now. Unfortunately I don't have the plugin working so I'm just going to kind of show you some of the uh, functionality now. To use it you'd have to go into uh, sources and then uh, select um, new Teradek network plugin which uh, I've installed previously and uh, now, I don't have the uh, Pro version of Wirecast, so it'll automatically go into demo mode. And this just kind of show you a little bit what it looks like. And from here, you can configure the plugin however you want to use it, uh, using a variety of methods right here. And then uh, once you, uh, you could also save it and apply changes. Like I said, I didn't have time. I uh, initially played with it, uh, trying to get it to work, which I didn't write at this time. But... You have a variety of ways of importing your video stream for from uh, the Teradek Cube into Wirecast.